All right, welcome everyone to Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Psyche K, Season 2, Episode 9. Igyaru is here, yes, and she, she can is. see auras. Mm -hmm. She has oral sight. <laughs> it's literally what she said. I mean, I'm saying. God damn it. It's just, just what, what she said. Yeah. But it's an additional dynamic to make things difficult for Psyche, because now instead of avoiding this person, he actually has to, like... Stay fairly close by to this person, so that, that way they close don't... Close enough. Close enough that they don't see his aura from the outside, because then... Or that she can't see any auras, then. Exactly. Because his aura is so fucking thick that, uh... God, you don't have to make it weird, Caleb. I mean, that's just what they Jeez. did. That's what they showed. I'm just stating it. That's but it there are many more auras that I believe that we still need to see, because we didn't mm -hmm. see all of the students. So, mm -hmm. love to get that. But, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. More hijinks. So, so Let's for go. her, she's just like ora, 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 ora. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone. Now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Dance lights up. Oh, that was a wonderful right. episode. Mikoto is getting pretty strong in the meta. Yeah. She knows about Psyche's uh, whole about deal of being a psychic. Yep. And she even called out the thing of, wait, you're just, you're not actually speaking. You're just talking into my head with telepathy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. Mm -hmm. Not only that, like, she accepts and understands that he must be my soulmate. Well, shoot, I thought he was a loser. But I guess he is pretty powerful psychic, so... Okay, I and guess she I'm knows, falling for him. And she knows that he knows that she thinks that. Yeah. That he's her, that he's her soulmate. So, right. okay, cool. All right. I mean, I, it sounds pretty cool. Yep. I, in some ways, I would kind of like to have Terahashi, you know, end up with Psyche. But if, hey, if we have a, a romantic love triangle of sorts, mm. that could be interesting. I also would very much like it as a thing of where Psyche, of course, is not, you know, He's not about that. He wants to have his coffee jelly in peace, and it's just going to be that way. This is not that kind yep. of a show. So, That's all right. right. But, hey, she provides some really, really fun dynamics in that she can actually go on, like, psychic partner shenanigans. Uh -huh. And as far as a uh, an upgrade for uh For Reita? Reita? Uh-huh. Yeah, straight up. That's what I was thinking, too. Because like, he literally showed up for her, and she was like, what the heck? Uh, uh. Right, exactly. Like... I, yep. I kind of feel like this is this is the the creator acknowledging that they kind of uh, rated Reta out of the story. Yeah. Um. Because like he he was kind of fun, but he wasn't nearly as interesting as some of the other characters. Yep. So okay, cool. Especially not Mikoto. No. Yeah. Just in her couple episodes that she's been here, like mm -hmm. fantastic. Yep. Um. But all right. Yeah. We got ourselves a circus uh, bit of shenanigans there. We did indeed. But I will say the best magic trick and joke. Was just, just oh, be like, who are you? <laughs> and then takes the no, oh, 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 hey, <laughs> I there, there's just something about Nendo and and the simplicity of his jokes that just gets me on such a deep it's, level. It's so like, just straightforward yeah. and basic, and yet it, it just works because it's Nendo. No one else is like Nendo. <sighs> it's just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just his humor and it's his comedic shticks. That's like, so good. Don't get me wrong, the escalating shit that Psyche had to deal with on the stage and things mm -hmm. like that. And and the, the lion. The lion. <laughs> yeah. That literally <laughs> just tried to attack Chono. And oh no, it had a chain on it, so he survived. Is like, oh yeah, it's totally tamed. It's just like, no, I'm will I will feast on your flesh, I'm pathetic humans. You humans. Yeah. And then, and then Psyche, he reveals like a demon form. Demon aura. You know, <laughs> just, <laughs> I am the alpha predator here. And it, okay, sir. <laughs> and it just, yeah, all cutesy, <laughs> just boink, <laughs> jumps boink. through the hoops. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that was amazing. Oh, oh but, man. Okay, all right. Yep. I mean, this is, this, is a, this is a good start here. We kind of followed up on the idea of like disasters being like something right. where someone's luck runs out and they have to keep... Mm -hmm. You know, co co Psyche has to keep course correcting things in order to save someone. That was something that they did, I think, oh. in season one. Um, so that was, was kind of cool. I was going to make a joke and be like, oh, right, Shio. No, I thought you were talking about uh, Terahashi with the whole situation of like her luck ran out just enough that she was able to actually get a cold. And then God, suddenly yeah, God had a sick day himself. Exactly. And thus, right. Um, you know, Terahashi got even the, like, the slightest bit of a cold. The slightest bit it. of a cold. And just the entire 
ecosystem of the school shut down. Just yeah. They almost they almost were ready to start like eating each other. Right. Like, with how rioting and be like, all right, we must now kill God because this world is unjust and we will go through the JRPG thing and all of that stuff. Like <laughs> Hyro Hyro, I feel like in particular had a great moment to shine here. Even because, though it made no sense for him to be the one to right, do it because he doesn't care about Terahashi. No, no, he's just like a solid dude, but I, I think it's more of the injustice of it, right? If someone uh, as pure and sweet as Terahashi, right? Not because he's yeah. obsessed or attracted to her or anything like that, right, you know? Right, But like, because Hiro, I feel like is a different sort of situation than Reita, where because he is very one note as a character, mm -hmm. there isn't always a reason for him to be in a right. joke. Right? He doesn't. He doesn't need to be there. At least Chio just herself is the joke, so <laughs> she can. <laughs> whenever, whenever she just exists, we're just like, Haha, I'm Chio. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Like she's. I feel like she is the equivalent of Meg from Family Guy, where it's wow. like, where it's like, oh my we could, god, we could randomly just You're see right. her like left at home with a hamster oh wheel and like a gosh. water like a water feeder and and I would not bat an eye. I yep. would not bat an eye at all. Yep. Like, I would laugh. Yeah. 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 Would get me. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, that's a genius connection. Yep. I never thought about it, but wow. Yeah, she's she's Meg. Yeah, she, like, Meg. <laughs> she even she even goes after Kaido. Like like now granted, Kaido is fantastic, right? He is actually yes, competitive Kaido. in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, like Kaido is straight up S tier characters when it comes to Psyche K. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of characters that don't go into S tier, so like, no. like that's saying something. Exactly. But the fact that um, there's a reason that Kaido and Nendo are the two boys. They are the know? boys. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The the spot for S tier boys, and you know why it's S tier, right? Right. Because Psyche. Psyche. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thus. You know, it's a very, very tight spot. Like, even Kubo Yasu, fantastic boy, mm -hmm. he would only go into he, A tier. Right, and he is, he is even though he was introduced Recent relatively introduced. recently, he is already number three in the boys list. Like, like if there's ever a third person that's kind of hanging out with, with them, mm -hmm. it's usually Kubo Yasu now. Yeah. You know, so, so keep yeah. up the good work. But okay, new characters means the meta's shaking up a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, means that uh, right. Chio might have another friend that she can talk to, which is cool. Indeed. I'm, 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 I'm glad for that. I like that they shored up any kind of nonsense as to whether or not, you know, Kaido is potentially on her, on uh, uh, Mikoto's radar. And she's like, no, 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 definitely not. But well, it, I mean, she's not going to be, uh, he's not going to be your uh, right, uh, right. soulmate either. <laughs> yeah, like, is that, is that just because something terrible is going to happen? Uh, Chio's luck is such that she can never actually find happiness, that, and that's that. the point. Chio, you know, Chio just will never find um, right happiness in that mm -hmm. regard. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know. Like, if like no. Psyche K's sister has a better likelihood of. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Psyche has a sister. Exactly, oh, that's yeah. right. Has a better likelihood of finding happiness in love than that's Chio fair. does. But like, a character that doesn't exist. W is there anyone in this show that would actually make for a? good relationship partner for Shun Kaido. For Kaido? Yeah. Oh, I, I legitimately think Chio's not that bad. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, right. Like, I, I, I think that would be awesome. But I was I was a little bit sad when she when when Mikoto said that. I was like, oh, wait, really? <laughs> like, in some ways, in some weird way, though, mm -hmm. I actually think Mikoto actually makes a better fit for mm. Kaido. Oh, right, because she actually has the powers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And... And she would probably see it as like a thing of like, oh yeah, of course there's probably some organization that kind of controls this stuff. I'm just some Although, regular girl, so someone else probably has psychic powers, and that makes that makes logical sense that there'd be others out there that use this for their own nefarious ends. And he'd be like, <gasps> like <laughs> although to be fair, job, you know? to be fair, I could also see it being the exact opposite because she didn't believe Psyche originally when he told her. By the way, I'm a psychic, like telep like talking into her mind, I believe, and all of that stuff. And she had him specifically bend the spoon. When it's like, you can see auras in, like, you yeah, know, all I feel of like that, that was, shit. I feel like that was kind of a thing of where she's like, okay, you know how you believe something exists or what have you, but you don't think you're ever going to see it or it's going to happen to you? Sure. It's like if someone comes to you and says, hey, I'm going to just give you a million dollars. You're right. like, yeah, that's a good one. No, go away. Uh -huh. And then they're like, no, really, I'm from a show that, like, gives people money. And I, I want to film you and see what you do with it or something. Right. And they'd be like, ha ha, it's a good scam, go away. But I feel like this is the exam this is this is the equivalent of like, I believe aliens exist. So one comes up to me 
and I don't believe it. No, but, that's the thing. I but, think that some people but would do that. Your specific no, totally. But in this case, she's someone that also like works at a lab, <laughs> like like studying the extraterrestrial. <laughs> like yeah, not you know. literal aliens, but like <laughs> like, like, yeah, like right, like yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she has the list of known UFOs. Exactly, like, you know, you know like, yeah, <laughs> right. So that that was just that was a, a funny a funny little gag there, yeah, that and that good. would be hilarious if she like shot down Kaido's dreams of just like wow. No, there's there's got to be crazy stuff out there. No, what are you talking about? That's stupid, you know. And she's yeah, <laughs> yeah, that no, that would be fun. That'd be mm-hmm. fun. Um, we had a sweet moment where Chono got to show off to Nendo's mom. That's right. He's a really awesome stand-up guy, yes. and that was really sweet, really mm-hmm. really cool moment. It's we also like he did set him up for. By making sure that there was no disaster here. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I will say, this was a running gag this episode. But these were separate skits. The mm. idea of bad luck and danger and stuff That's kind of true. just coming about. Now, it could be just a just a thing there. Because uh-huh. two is not a pattern entirely. Right. But if this happens again pretty soon, there could be something happening that's greater. I mean, Psyche might need to I, solve it. That would be interesting if the show ended up getting meta, where it's like the wait, Psyche, haven't you been wondering why all of this crazy shit mm-hmm. happens around you? It's actually because your powers are leaking out in a passive sure, way, yeah, and causing shit to happen as blowback for all the times that you mm-hmm. use your powers in an extreme way and in a concentrated period of time. Right. Could yeah, be. Could, could be. be. But we had another very sweet moment happen this episode. Mm-hmm. Psyche neck chopping the, the, the her Terahashi's brother or whatever. Her brother, yes. Like I, I, I've I've enjoyed domestic girlfriend. I enjoy the suppository jokes and everything, but not here, not in this show, not, not in this these show. characters. Mm-mm. Mm. No. Yeah, because this show no. is so wholesome. <laughs> yeah, actually, it can be really wholesome when it wants to be. It can be. Yeah. 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 But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.